Yo, what's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we are reviewing the bike riding test of the ILM Z501 helmet. If you guys haven't seen already the other video of me unboxing this helmet, then go check it out. Link will be in the description. And uh, yeah, I pretty much put my old mic setup into this helmet. And we're going to go give it a riding test and see kind of how it is. And before we get started, I have been using this helmet for a little bit without the whole GoPro and uh, Cardo that's on it right now and I can tell you right now this helmet is comfortable and it is also extremely light but enough talking now let's get into the riding portion of today's video so I also want to thank before you know we actually get into the riding portion even though we're already kind of riding I want to also thank uh, ILM for sending me out a helmet for me to review thank you guys so much with the short amount of time that I have been using this helmet uh, I can tell you right now it feels absolutely amazing super light super comfortable and the viewing range on this helmet from the you know the visor or whatever it uh it's really nice like i can barely see the bottom and i can barely at all see the top portion of this helmet while having it uh while having it on so that's a really uh pr big pro in my book because with my other helmet i couldn't really see too much it might be the sizing of the helmet that kind of messes with that not fully sure but this helmet has a wide range of view which i love also can we admire just the way this helmet looks like look at the front angle all right there's the front angle look at the side angle bang can't really show you the back that's kind of impossible at least right now but this helmet's quality is actually pretty good like i was thoroughly amazed when i received this helmet in the mail and unboxed it i was thoroughly amazed with the overall quality and look of what this helmet has to offer and i was also amazed by the buckling system underneath the chin some companies have like the little loop where you have to kind of put it through and then come back out and then put it back through and then like uh, buckle it a lot of those buckles might wear out and this like i don't even know i guess okay so the other system is not buckling it's like a i don't know a clicking mechanism this is a buckle type mechanism and this just feels good i think i have maybe like four or five maybe six clicks that i can do on here i usually do two just because i don't want to be choked out by it but i mean it's it's secure it's not going anywhere like i can yank on this it's not coming off and it just feels like a really good quality I feel like a lot of helmets should come with this buckle mechanism because it's just easy to put on and easy to take off as well. You just slip the helmet on, put the buckle in, you know, one, two, three clicks, you're boom. Like you're, you're chilling, you're ready to ride. And with the other like strap mechanism, you have to kind of put on the helmet, go through one loop, go back through the other one, and then like curve it back up and then click it in. And sometimes that clicking can just like come off and come undone. So I think uh, a lot more companies should probably implement that into their design. Now I will be testing this helmet out on the highway. I have tested out already on the highway without the whole, you know, GoPro and everything on. Which by the way, this helmet is still pretty light even with this GoPro on the front of it. But I'll be taking this helmet on the highway as well. But what I was trying to get to is I've taken this helmet on the highway and there was a big con to it. Now I'm gonna let you guys all know. I'm not too big into wind noise. Wind noise can affect the you know the audio quality of the videos and you know just stuff like that. That's why I keep all my vents closed and all the helmets that I rock, just so I can get as minimal wind as possible. And I don't know if it will pick up, but you know, once we're on the highway, you guys can let me know. There is a lot of a whistle to the top of the helmet and you can really like hear it throughout everywhere. The wind noise is really not bad at all. It's just that whistling can get kind of annoying, especially at high speeds. And I wish that that wasn't a thing, but I think with the uh, with the top like mounts here, whatever top wind area providers, so like it can circulate throughout the helmet, I don't think it's working properly. I don't know, could be wrong. I've tried opening and closing the vents and it still makes the whistling noise. But again, it's kind of only at like higher speed, so it's not too bad. I might hear it every now and then, kind of going around like 40, 50, 60, but it's more towards the, the higher speeds, like 80, 90, pretty much highway speed that's when you really start to hear it. Another 
another pro to this helmet though, after that slight con, another pro to this helmet is that this helmet is DOT certified and the ECE R2206, I believe that I got that right, certified as well. And if you guys don't know what that means, I believe it means that this, this helmet has 16 impact points with the 05 version of uh, helmets, you know, all around. They be I believe they only have eight. So you're pretty much doubling the amount of impact points all around the helmet to get that 16 impact point range which i don't think i've seen another helmet with that but i don't have that many helmets i only have this one and then my agv and that's pretty much it i don't really look into helmets too often but i know i really don't have to just to know that 16 is greater than eight and that's uh that's good <laughs> another cool feature with this helmet i probably shouldn't be doing this while moving but uh let's see if i can find it i think it's on this side push this down and a little like sun visor type deal comes down and it's a lot lighter like it's like a very small tint it's not too bad at all i feel like i might use this towards like nighttime maybe just so i can have better vision so i don't have to have the tinted visor down and then uh kind of you know limit my visibility so this is also a cool feature of it and it's very you know very easy you just boom it's up boom down boom it back up just like that all right finally about to get to the highway and about to see how this uh sound kind of i guess sounds like the uh, the overall wind noise that this helmet has to offer is it good or is it bad so right now with how loud my bike is i'm hearing a lot of wind but my bike doesn't seem that loud like obviously my bike is pretty loud but it doesn't really seem too loud i don't know the wind seems kind of louder and i'm going only 61 and i'm getting a little bit of wind it's not really moving my head around too much i'm not sure how windy it is today but it's not too bad at this type of speed <laughs> there wasn't as uh, much traffic right now i chose the bad time to ride it's 5 32 and this is kind of when traffic is at its peak it's like it starts at four peaks around 5 36 so i'm probably not going to be able to go too fast to kind of test the overall wind noise so around like almost 80 right there i was hearing the the tiny whistling and by the way this is kilometers an hour okay we're going 65 kilometers an hour just for legal reasons you know what i mean just for anyone wondering we're about to get on an actual highway here and i'm hoping the traffic is not that bad because this uh this highway usually has has some pretty bad traffic right there i'm hearing the whistling to the side but i think that's pretty much on any helmet just because like the small cracks in the visors usually it's not too bad though like my head's not really getting moved around and it's comfortable too like it's extremely comfortable these cheek pads are like holding me <laughs> the gopro's picking it up but i'm hearing a lot of whistling right now that's honestly like the only con i can find of this helmet is just the partial whistling slash wind noise at higher speeds that's like the only con i can find about this helmet and i've had this helmet for about a week i would say and i've ridden with it multiple times probably for a couple of hours and when i first unboxed this helmet I tried it on obviously it felt really nice my brother he was there with me kind of watching me record and he was like dude I want to test on the helmet so I let him test on the helmet and he also said that the helmet felt extremely light 
and extremely comfortable. So it's not just me that's saying this, just because like, I'm being biased. I honestly believe that this helmet brand is like, I, I don't know how to say it, maybe like the undiscovered, goaded brand. And by undiscovered, they're, they're, they're definitely discovered. They have like 2 million plus riders that use their helmets around like the US and I believe Europe. So they're not really undiscovered, like they're known. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video have heard of ILM and kind of are wanting to see the reviews about the helmet, see if like if it's a must get or you know, kind of seeing what other people's thoughts are on the helmet. And I'm being straight up honest with all of you right now. This helmet is a cop. I would get the helmet again. I'm honestly looking about getting kind of like this same helmet, but in a different color. I love this blue color, but it really doesn't go too well with the with the green. And my brother has a blue bike and it might go pretty well with his, but I don't know. I still love this helmet. It's still like, it's still amazing. I love the way it looks. It's just, it doesn't really go with my green. So it's kind of my fault that I chose this one, but it just looked cool. So I was like, all right, we're gonna get that one. But if you are a new rider or even not a new rider, and you're just looking for a new helmet because the other one's all trashed up and kind of just are looking for something new, I recommend going to ILM's website and looking at their variety of helmets and seeing which one you like and go get yourself one for 10% off using my code. Everything will be linked in the description, but go check out their website for yourself. See if you can find a helmet you like. I'm sure they have a lot of variety and I'm sure you can find one that you enjoy. They also have accessories and other types of gear that you can buy from them if you guys want to check out their gear as well. I do wonder how the uh, the wind is being picked up though. I'm hearing a good amount of whistling right now. I think I'm riding into the wind actually. But I wonder how the wind is picked up on the GoPro. All right, that is going to conclude this riding review video of the ILM Z501 helmet. Again, thank you ILM for sending me out this helmet to review for you guys. If any of you guys are interested in any of ILM helmets, they have a multitude of variety. If you guys are interested in any of those, then check the link down in the description. Check out their apparel uh, accessories and also helmets. They have full modular. I mean, they have all different types of helmets that you can think of so click the link in the description to check them out and make sure to use my code at checkout to get 10 percent off your purchase if you do decide to purchase anything from their site and other than that i will see you guys in the next video peace